Greetings. My name is Ms. Shree, and I'm an instructor at the Inter Service Postal Training Activity here at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Today, I'd like to show you one of my favorite tabs uh, that falls underneath the AMPS account, and that tab is the Knowledge Management tab. So many times throughout the day, I'll get emails and phone calls from soldiers and troops out in the field, uh, and they're very concerned about how to do a procedure, or uh, they're, they're just not entirely sure uh, how to accomplish something. And although I've been in Postal for quite a few years, I'm not the subject matter expert in all of the areas. So what is it that we do here at the schoolhouse when we even need to find help? And that's, like I said, my favorite tab, which is the Knowledge Management tab under AMPS. Uh, if you believe that knowledge is power, uh, like I do, I want to share with you how to become very, very powerful uh, with, with becoming a subject matter a expert. So let's take a look in AMPS in the Knowledge Management tab. Okay, we're here in AMPS, and this is the link that is to my favorite of all the tabs that are in AMPS, and that would be the Knowledge Management tab. Once you click on that, you're going to go to the left-hand side where it says Documents, and here is the pot of gold. Um, as I've said, we as subject matter experts in Postal really still don't know everything there is to know about every one of the subjects that come up. So when there's questions from out in the field or people need help uh, or I'm not sure of an answer, I go to the Knowledge Management tab in AMPS. You can see that it's all in alphabetical order and I'm going to skip over the briefings portion to just go directly to the documents. But what I'd like to share with you is all of the, just, just the wealth of information that, that's here. So those of you that are in the field right now and you're using the PAWS, uh, the 20 NCR is that new version. Um, I believe there's a version 64 out there now, which would probably be coming soon. Um, but, but any information that you'd need about that, you'd be clicking right here about that uh, information. Another great one that's, that's still brand new is the initiative to do the nesting and the dispatching uh, via AMPS. So that's brand new and we're still uh, struggling with exactly how it is that we're going to do it and then here at the schoolhouse how we train on that. So again, a wealth of information there. Um, here's one of my favorite ones too, which is the AMPS V2 user manual. Um, that takes a little bit of a while to download um, because it's pretty large. But anything and everything that you need that's available to you in AMPS, uh, you can find basically through that user's manual. Those of you that might be in the finance area of operations out there in the field, uh, great information here of how to make your bank deposits. CAMELS, that's one we focus pretty heavily here on at the schoolhouse. Uh, which tells you if you're over in the CENTCOM area that uh, how you would be dealing with routing your mail uh, the most expeditious way that you can. Uh, and again, just gives you directions on the correct way to be moving the mail in that overseas location. Some of you might find yourself at an official mail room. Uh, so we do have an area here for how do you handle the Department of Defense official mail. Pretty popular nowadays is Eagle Cash. Uh, nobody's paying with money anymore. Um, this is more of a financial area that talks to you and explains to you how to accept Eagle Cash as your form of a, of a payment. Further down, we have our host nation agreements. I found this one fascinating. When you click on this link, it will tell you the status of Fortis's agreements uh, between the United States and the foreign countries that we're moving mail through. So in particular had a student that was stationed in Egypt and having a lot of problems and difficulty with the uh, local nationals there and moving of mail. And so the, the host nation agreement is going to help guide us as to what that particular location is allowing. Another very popular one is our online 1412. And this is where we deal with all of the financial transactions in the post office. So gone are the days, thank you, gone are the days uh, when we are filling out PS forms for all of our meter money, our money order money, our stamp sales, 
that Eagle Cash, credit cards, that is all done now online using the, P, the PS Form 1412, but it's an online form. So wonderful change there. Love that one. Moving down here again, more so in a finance area, you have reason codes. I like to call those AIC codes because they stand for the account indicator codes. And what those do is tell us when we have errors or problems, perhaps with a clerk overage, a clerk shortage, uh, there's some type of problem and we have to report that and those are all reported by codes. So it will give you all that information there as well. And then as I've already mentioned, this very bottom one down here is the voting tab. Uh, we are definitely going to be dealing with voting representatives and then ensuring uh, that we, as postal, uh, ensure we get those absentee ballots in on time. That's, that's critical. Uh, and then let's just talk a little bit more about this one here on the left, which says forms, uh, because again, that's kind of an important one where I can get any of the forms that I would need, and that would be all of my DOD forms. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not all of the DOD forms, but some of the DOD forms. We can also order our AMPS forms through here and also order our USPS forms. So another quicker, faster, easier way, you can still call. You can still fill out a PS form 7380. Uh, but again, if you choose, and I think if I had AMPS, I would choose. I could go online here and I could order my USPS forms through AMPS. All right, down there at the bottom, uh, uh, one more link over there on the left-hand side is your newsletters, points of contacts, supply documentation, and again, training, and there's a tab in there for voting as well. So again, when you have a little bit of extra time, uh, and again, you just want some empowerment, uh, log into AMPS here in your Knowledge Management tab, and again, you will just find a wealth of information.